Hello and welcome to AHU and Ninja's Good Food. Today I'm going to be making a partridge and pheasant uh, stew. So I'm going to do this in real time just so you can see how quick it is to do. And I'm going to put it in the slow cooker for approximately six to eight hours. And I'm going to leave it all in there stewing. I'm going to take the partridge and pheasant back out, strip the meat off the bone, put it back in, add some herbs and then it's job done just with some nice crusty bread or something. Okay, so I'm going to get started. Basically, just roughly chop. One onion. Straight in the stock pot, in the stew pot. You can basically make stews out of whatever you've got left over in the fridge. Um, see this one, I've got a bit of red onion left over here, so that's going in as well. Excuse me. Roughly chop. Get it in there. Few carrots here. Let's get them in half. Just roughly chop them. Okay. Um, probably a lot of you know, but if you if when when you're cutting carrots and round things up, if you cut it in half rather than having it unstable like that if you just turn it over on the flat side. Obviously, it's just a lot more stable for you to cut. So, get that in there. You can have it nice and chunky got any funky bits just take them off it's now April and um, the birds that I'm using for this uh, been in the freezer from last year so they don't look as fresh as they did when I put them in the freezer, obviously, but they still taste delicious. Whoops. Okay. Get them in. Oh, tomato, I've cut the top off because it was a bit dodgy, but it's fine inside. Get that in. Okay. A few cherry tomatoes. Whoop. All over the place. Just gonna in half, straight in. These are so easy, these dishes. The fact that you can just chuck them right in there, leave them all day, come home and they're done. Uh, I've got some peppers left over from something I did the other day, so they're also going in. Nice and big and chunky. Okay. So they're all going in as well. few potatoes just quarter them and in Thank <laughs> you. 
Sticks of celery, nice and chunky. Get that in. I'm going to put some garlic in, just give it a crush. Uh, take that out. I'm putting five cloves of garlic in because these are quite small ones actually. <clears throat> but there are ways you can put in what you like. Okay, so just roughly chuck them. I'll do. That's going in. Here I've got some um, Scottish wild flowers or different um, flowers and herbs. I'm just going to put a pinch of that in. Um, you can just put any like mixed herbs in or whatever. It doesn't need to be these. It's just because I've got it. Um, a good pinch of some coarse black pepper. Good pinch of coarse salt. You can put whatever salt you want in, but. It doesn't matter if it's coarse because it will all cook down anyway. Okay. I'm then going to add a pint and a half of beef stock into this. If you've got game, use game. But um, I've not got any. That's a video that's going to be coming up soon because I've run out of game stock. And. Uh, then what I'm going to do to this jug is just add one heaped teaspoon of cranberries. That's optional by the way. And another teaspoon, one teaspoon of English mustard. Again, that's optional. I'm just going to mix these with about 20ml uh, 20, 20 of water so they mix up a bit. So it's just easiest kind of mix it into the pot. Okay, so it kind of looks like that, that's fine. Get that in. Okay. this garlic. I've then got one pheasant which I'm just going to quarter it kind of doesn't matter how precise you get it because you're going to just take all the meat off it anyway um, I'm going to dunk that in on the legs. Got a little partridge here. His legs off. You can be as rough as you like because it doesn't matter because you're going to just take it all off the bone anyway, like I say. So, straight through that breastbone. And 
we're going to get that in the pot as well we'll just dunk it right down make sure all the meat's covered in the juices it will cook down and the veg kind of will will kind of go into the mixture as well it's a full pot but once the uh, veg wilts down a bit that's going to be fine okay wash my hands Okay, so basically I'm going to put the top on that, that's going to cook for six to eight hours, hours even, and uh, I'll come back to you when it's done, I'll, I'm just going to eat it with some nice crusty bread, so back soon. So we're five hours in now, <clears throat> and as you can see, the meat is just nicely starting to pull away from the bone so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to take all the meat or all the birds out strip the meat off and then put it back in again okay so i've pulled all the meat off the bone um, when you do this it's a good opportunity to kind of go through it and try and take out any shot that you you do find in it so obviously if you're using um, pheasants or partridges from a shoot you need to be uh, uh, obviously be mindful that you need to be careful to not to break your teeth on the shot so if you take get, have a sort through it when uh, when you pick it off the bone you don't need to worry about it then so I'm going to put this in okay the whole time that I've, this has been cooking um, the slow cooker has been on high Okay, so I'm just going to mix that in. Yeah, it's been on high the whole time it's been cooking. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to add a kind of glass of port to this. A generous glass. Um, and mix that in. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this for an hour to an hour and a half. Let it reduce. We're going to leave the lid off. And, and then let it reduce and I'll be back okay so that's the stew finished off um, all, all I did was add a tablespoon of corn flour mixed with a bit of cold water just to thicken it up a little bit but uh, it tastes absolutely lovely um, it's, it's dead easy to do I've just added it with a, a bit of crusty bread as you can see it, the, the preparation time as you can see I, I, I kind of did it on the video uh, 11 and a half minutes you can get it down a lot quicker than that it's just because I was doing the video so there's no need to kind of seal your meat off there's no need to fry anything just literally chuck it all in the slow cooker and you're ready to go so if you like this video please give it a like and if you uh, if, if you want to see a few more videos don't forget to subscribe Tim Higgins you you kind of mentioned jerk chicken so you said that mrs higgins has been asking for some jerk chicken recipes so what i'm doing in the next kind of week or so i've got some time off work so i'm gonna have a few more opportunities to get some some videos done so what i'm thinking is i might do some sort of jerk chicken and i might drag some some kind of game meat out of the freezer and i'll, I'll try that and do that at the same time i might do, i might do some on my smoker and some in the oven as well to, to kind of show you what, what the difference is. So, um, and I'm also going to do a, a game stock recipe and a video for that. Um, so that's all coming up in, in the near future. So stay tuned and I hope you like the video and I'll see you soon. Peace out. <laughs>